What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, The Penguin Season 1, Episode Number 6. And I feel like I say this every week, but somehow this show continues to raise the stakes every single episode. It just gets better and better. It's getting better and better, which is just incredible. And this show has done a really interesting thing because obviously we're dealing with the world of Batman, Batman villains, and now it's a situation where who do you root for? Do you the root for Oz or do you root for Sophia? And I'm kind of in the spot where I'm kind of rooting for both of them. I think they're both fantastic characters. I mean, Sophia's introduction to this universe has been incredible. And coming off that episode, holy shit, taking over. She's a Gigante now. And yeah, I don't know who to root for. I, I think they're both amazing. It's like one of those pro wrestling matches where it's cool heel versus cool heel. And you're like, they're both bad, but I like both of them a lot. I want them both to win. Yeah. Where are you at? I honestly, I feel the same because like she's terrifying. And you want to see what terrible shit she's going to do. But also Oz, yeah. like we love to hate to love him. He's ugh. my biggest thing with Oz is and it's Colin Farrell. Yeah. Hello. My biggest thing with Oz is he continuously puts himself in these really difficult spots and constantly finds his way out of them. And I mean, this last episode the way he set up this whole sting operation to get the mushrooms back. Mm -hmm. He killed Sal's wife and kid. And now Sal is working with Sophia. They came together to take him out. Sophia eliminated the whole family. It's her family now. She's taken over. So now these two working together. Oz tried to kill him in prison. That didn't work. And you saw him kind of scramble a little bit. Got his mom out of town. Brought him to Crown Point where, I mean... Getting the opportunity to see what it looks like after this flood, because we've been told that we saw like glimpses of it, but holy shit, like this is really bad. And Oz had to move his mom there and Vic doing a good job there. And the episode ends with a situation where Oz found his new penguin lair, which a couple questions came up after that episode. Is that the similar spot as where the Batcave is? Is there a situation where we're gonna run into the Batcave at any point? I mean, obviously the city is absolutely massive and I'm sure those tunnels go for miles and miles, but I'm wondering if there's gonna be an opportunity for Oz to stumble upon this situation and figure out like, oh, there's the Bat stuff. Like, that's kind of interesting because I would imagine it's the same tunnel, tunnel system that we've seen Bruce riding through and seeing Batman riding through from the Batman. But but it's a situation where Oz has his new lair. He's kind of in a tough spot because everyone is out to get him. He's kind of on an island with Vic and a couple members of his crew. I mean, my thought process about this show, there's only a few episodes left. I don't think everyone comes out of this alive. Uh... Yeah, that's but unfortunate, but I don't think so either. I just don't see how introducing the new Penguin lair and having three episodes left in this show, killing Penguin off in this show before Batman 2 seems... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure where, where I am on that whole thing. I kind of want to just see all these villains end up in Batman part two, and then they could kind of deal with their issues and their battles there. Yeah. I mean, at some point, Bruce and Batman's going to have to get involved in all this stuff. And I, I have a feeling my prediction is like, he's going to show up at like the very end as like, oh, hey, by the way, this is now setting you up for Batman part two, because there's a lot of shit going on. I mean, the entire Falcone family got murdered. Like they're all dead. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't know. We'll, we'll see where all that goes. But I feel like that's going to be like the setup for the Batman part two. Sophia, one million percent needs to survive this show and get into the movie. Because again, her addition, her character, her mm -hmm. story, mm -hmm. everything about this has been incredible. Her performance is so good. Everyone's performance is excellent. Oh, yes. So this feels like another really difficult spot for Oz that he's put himself into. He's only gotten like three buckets of the mushrooms. Most of them got destroyed. Yeah, that sucked. So he's going to have to come up with another plan. But he continues to hit these moments. He was very panicked. When, when Sal called him, obviously he wasn't expecting that because he expected the hit to go through. But Sal survived that. And yeah, it just feels like Oz is survived. in Survived. Yeah. I mean, he's struggling right now. Oz obviously is in a tough spot again. So we'll see how he thrives through this and where this goes. But... The show's been incredible. Said it at the very top. It gets better and better every episode. I'm fully expecting the same thing with this one. Yes. You ready for it? Yes. Let's go. Who's got the power in this city? Falcones? I mean, Sophia's the last of them. She don't even like a fucking name. Maronis? Sure. Sal's out of Blackgate. His family's still fucking ash. 
Who's got the power? That's what the streets are asking, but down here, we know. It's a cool intro. We started with two buckets. Two fucking buckets, that's it. And now it's grown into an underground. Wow, we damn. Got time jump and shit. You know how many burrows there are in Gotham? Each one run by a different crew. Is that how he's running them through the city? Yeah. The motorcycle and the underground trolleys? Wow. Silence is golden, loose lips, and all that shit. Remember, if somebody asks you where you got this cash, I say construction. Construction. <laughs> Sullivan's moving our product or what? They said they could sell bliss as fast as we can make it. I can write that again. Show me what you got. Kid, not bad. Make a businessman out of you yet. We can get a couple more gangs on board, we're fucking set. We finally got the line cleared to Burnley. It means we can supply the massive now, too. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, but there's a lot of bad blood between them and Odessa mob, right? All these gangs, they fucking hate each other. So we gotta make sure that nobody advertises that we're, uh, you know, we're dating around. <laughs> right? Fuck this. Anyway, Bruno's got Odessa. I got Nick taking care of the low boys. I even got Link. He's hitting me up saying, Zalm, I wanna play ball. Now he sees all the money we got coming in. Oh, really? Yeah, greedy fuck. It's a whole different sport, kid. That's where all the money's at. That's wild. Someone had eyes on the Sullivan's. I think it's probably one of uh, Sal or Sophia's guys. Try to follow me. You see you go on the ground? No. Sure? Positive. Mm, now I'm scared. These Moroni, Gigante, whatever the fuck, they can stick around all they want. When they're so busy with their noses up, they'll never take the look down. What we got, kid? The good people of Crown Point, hard at work, protecting us, keeping this whole fucking thing quiet. We got the loyalty, and we got the love. You know why? Because we pay them. You know how meaningful that is, Vic? To be the guy in the neighborhood who takes care of people? They're gonna tell stories about us one day, kid. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be that kind of stories, though. Victor Aguilar has woke up. The names are gonna live forever. Names will definitely live forever. Yeah. <laughs> Just not sure if it's the legacy that you're gonna want, Penguin. And knock every door. I'm loving her haircut, by the way. You're doing it again. Oh. You're scrutinizing. I'm admiring you. Are you hurt? I deserve it. <sighs> I saw another interesting theory about him. What's that? This scene makes me feel like it's not true, but it's still possible that that he's all in her head. No one else has interacted with him. Oh. That will see you. That's messed up. He's a play toy. <laughs> I still think he has the potential to become Scarecrow. I think that's still my favorite theory. Leo spotted Oz's driver delivering product in Sullivan territory and lost him. Said he disappeared, just like the others. Ah, she's a fucking weed. He likes the spotlight too much to stay hidden. Interesting, calls him a weed. Where do weeds come from? The ground. I wouldn't have pegged you as a cook. Nadia showed me her family recipes so I could pass them down. This is Korish Badimjan. Eggplant, tomatoes, little meat Taj, like yogurt on his. Hmm. Taj was right. It was very good with the yogurt. Taj was right. So the weed, the weed is sneaking around the city without protection. He's supplying the street with your drug and no one's talking. If he gets more local gangs on his side. No. He needs the triads to make waves. And they made a deal with me. People buy from whoever's selling. I just got that tip from Karma. Well, and I think that we just have to make it very clear that playing with us comes at a cost. Uh-oh. For Christ's sake, what are you gonna do something, huh? Whether you like it or not, they're your boys and fucking freezing. Well, what are you talking about? No! No! If you can't get the heat back on, I'll go to Rex. You'll we'll get it done. Hey, 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 you're confused. You don't have to worry about that. Brent is okay, cause, cause, cause Jack, Jack, Jack went to pay the bill downtown. What are you Jack's doing? Downtown. So that's all settled, okay? Jack's Function. downtown. That's all. This whole time. So he's gonna get it paid out. Jack's downtown. <laughs> Stop it! You're making a voice. I'm sorry, I thought. Hey, no, no, no. I don't 
don't think he's making it worse. You're breaking her heart every single time. Just let her think that. I'm off world. I ain't that Jack of Rex not over my head no more. That's... I feel like that's wrong. I don't know. Yeah, that's a tough spot for sure. Fuck. Triads are out. Shit. Three bodies have been found hanging. Whoa. All appear to be young men. Each of them with a severed finger. Hanging in the pinky. Why these guys? They're just a corner boy. Just a warning shot. That fucking Mork and Mindy are flexing. It means anyone caught with a product. Mork gets and it. Mindy, that's a reference. Does anybody remember that reference? This close. Don't deal with the triads. Now I can get Bliss away if I fucking try it. Chess match. It's your move. Unless, what if I gave it the fuck away? Anybody to be shy tonight. Anybody who wants it gets it. You understand? Anybody. These gangs, they've got to know the bliss is in their hood, whether they fucking like it or not. I'm gonna give every motherfucker in this city a free taste. Don't get this shit on the street. Wow. It's an interesting strategy. Mm-hmm. Hey, yo, Victor. Yo, where you getting your money from, Victor? Because other people in the point are flush with cash, too, but not from drops. That shit dried up. So what is it? Squid, I'm not a part of any drop. Ah. Huh? This guy sucks. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, oh, man. Oh, come on, man. Don't fucking bullshit me, man. What about that old lady I saw you with up by Calvin's the other night? I haven't seen her in a while. Maybe I'll go looking for her. Is that what you want? She fucking threatening me, bro? Look, I'm offering you my services, Victor. You want me on your side, right? Nah. So go tell your people I want in. Let's get this motherfucking money. I feel like he's going to go tell Oz and then there are going to be no more stuff. <laughs> He doesn't. It's his greatest asset. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Who are they? His brothers. They died young. His mother is dead, too. I never heard much about his father. So he's got nothing. He takes everything from me, and he's got nothing. <laughs> oh, shit. Is she going to find anything on the I girl? hope not. Yeah, shit. I was wondering when she was gonna come into play. Yeah. I'm Walt. Now you all right? Help. Mom, what happened? Just get me out of here. Come here. The water's fucking freezing. How long you been in here? Damn it. There you go. There you go. When they show you shit like this and then you feel bad for the guy, you're like, oh, he's just trying to take care of his mom. Oh, no, I can't do this. No, I can't no, 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 do this. Listen to me. You're going to be all right. We just got to just gotta get you warmed up. That's all. This thing I got, it's a goddamn dirty thief. It just keeps taking. I'm seeing things that ain't real. The boys, sometimes I see them. They look at me like, like, I ain't this. I ain't gonna live like a goddamn vegetable. You understand? No, what do you mean? If my mind goes before my body's ready, I need you to help me. You gotta help me, Dad. Oh, fuck. Jeez, I ain't thinking straight. Then I am. I won't be one of those pathetic old broads drooling around here, shitting themselves, staring out at nothing. With no, no clue what's going on, knowing just enough to make it worse. If I lose my dignity, what else I got, huh? Can't do it. Sure you can. Oh, you'll be all right. I know you will. You're my brave boy. You're my mom. They ask me to do something. It ain't natural. No, don't you pussy hurt me, Oswald. I swear to God. Say you'll do it. You mean it, because you love me. Say it. Oh my god. I'll do it. <laughs> do it. All right. This is a tough situation. It's like 
everything that you've ever known about the penguin. Is he doing her makeup? Say that start the fire. This is the kind of stuff that makes you sympathize with a villain type character. Oh, <laughs> a gorgeous man, powerful like Gilda. Wow. <sighs> you ever think you'd be crying over no, a, a scene penguin. with the penguin? <laughs> oh man. Wow. Councilman Haiti. Carmine's guy. I uh, wrote you a note. You know, you never responded. You don't want to be pals with me? Kind of, you know, hurts my feelings. Oh, shit. Well, you think I don't matter? Is that it? Then you don't mind that much if I uh, introduce myself to some of your crooked friends? So, huh? Come here, come here. Whoa. Stop. Come here. Stop. Oh! You think you could just mm -hmm. go and talk to people and oh, talk with an invisible dick, that it? Oh, shit. Ooh. I want you to do your fucking job. That's what I fucking want. The city's diverting power from Crown Point. The families are living in the dark, the freeze. Meanwhile, you go home to your warm fuck pad mansion. It ain't right. Okay, can we fucking stop doing up. that shit? Please stop, I'll do it, I'll do it. Please stop, fuck up. Oh, okay. oh my God, dude. You got till sun up. <sighs> and I ain't someone's guy. My name's Oswald Cobb. Next time you won't forget. I don't don't touch my septum. Honestly, I everybody else grabbing. Like, damn, man. Oh. The torture methods, Jesus. I can't even imagine you would just instantly just start crying. Yo, Victor, freezing my fucking dick off out here. Where your people at? He's not. He's taking him out of his own. Look, man, I try. They just not. Nah, they're not looking for more guys right now. I know this is your neighborhood. They know that. Respect that. Respect you. So, yeah. You can give me more next week. Right. Yeah. So I'm already running low. What do you think, you big Victor? Think you can pay me off? You a kid from the bricks who can't even steal some rims. Think you need a big time tough guy because he's working with Oz. What's his fuck? Nobody sees this guy, but he's out here pulling all these strings. You know the word on the street is he's running that new drug bliss and a bunch of heavy hitters are looking for him? Maybe I should help them out, make some real money. Or you take me to your boss. Hey, he'll kill you. Yeah, fuck, go take me to that motherfucker right now. You think I'm playing with you? All right, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, yeah. Uh, you want to meet him? Cool, let's go. <laughs> Let me pick up the cash first. You leave all that cash on the floor. Okay, we're underground. Underground? Shit, you digging holes or something? <laughs> yeah, he had to do that. <laughs> oh, Victor. Oh, Vic. Oh. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, Vic. Why'd you make me do that? You fuck! Shit. Jesus. Oh no. Hey. You don't seem surprised to see me. I told Roxy to send you up. Say it was both a headache. Easy money, too. Damn, she's good. You have a drawer at his place. You mean something to him. He won't come for me if that's your plan. Not that kind of relationship, okay. What I got with Oz, it ain't just one thing. I know what it is, but we all got our shit, don't we? I mean, you certainly got yours. Uh-oh. Do you want to go down that road with her? You still think I'm the hangman? He never told you. My father killed those women, killed my mother. Oz knew. He has always known. Well, he helped cover it up uh -oh. so that my father could keep on killing women. Yikes. Yep, we're gonna go there. He let me rot in Arkham so he could move up. Kept you in the dark about all that, huh? Why he would work for a man that murdered your friends. Oz would never risk that. It's better for him if you fear me. He said he felt bad for you, that you were sick. 
Well, if that were true, you would have been dead at the door. But you did come here to kill me, right? Yeah, after all is said and done, you were his alibi. So, when you're done here, just leave my girls alone, okay? That's why you asked me here. To save them. From the hangman. That's not who you are, right? I'm fucking terrified. Please don't. Just leave I don't think alone. she's going to. Well, whatever I was born into, I'll never have that. Jeez, I would have been Crown pooping point. my po Oh. No! By the zoo. You deserve your shot, but where you got that information, it'll stay between us. Damn. I don't think it will, but... By the way, if I was sitting across from Sophia in that situation, with the gun in her hand, thinking I was gonna die, I probably would've pooped my pants. Yeah, I would've peed everywhere. I'd be like, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. You good? What's up with you? Something with that guy? Get away clean? I think so, yeah. Yeah, then don't look down. Meet me here. You've done the right thing. Protect those you care about. You're strong, kid. See, like this shit. Like, even though he just fucking killed somebody, he's like comforting him. Yeah. It gets easier. Oh, shit. Jesus. And then he says that. Now that Sophia knows where he is. This thing has gotten a little more intense. Mm-hmm. What I'm bringing you tonight is big. Bigger than blitz. We're gonna change the face of the whole city. Forever, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Gold Summit. You're all gonna be proud to say you were here tonight. Will you? It's the name of the episode. You got three of my guys strung up. Cause of you. Not cause of me. They're dead because the Maronis and Gigantes got the power to take you out. You want revenge? What the fuck is stopping you? They're right over there, across the Elliot Bridge. The bridge that was built by your ancestors, Donnie boy. But it ain't named Sullivan. It's named for the rich crooks who took credit for your family's hard work. They run shit. We eat shit. They don't even know your fucking name. I love this speech. This is amazing. He's very good at this. Yeah. You know, not even a mile from here, there's a bunch of big time city hall fucks. They're sitting in some fancy private club. They're drinking orange wine. They're making crooked deals to benefit them. And guess what? They can't fucking stand each other either. Just like you. Breaking bread because they know that each of them on their own, they ain't got nothing. But together, those soft belly pricks, they run this whole fucking city. Why the hell not us? He's so good. <laughs> but the real power comes if we've got each other's backs. He betrays everyone he works with. Sofia Gigante, Alberto Falcone. He's from The Expanse, by the way. I, I know. remember. I know. A penguin is a bargain based on us. Uh, Paz. Was it? He'll do anything, say anything. Between us, we got more territory, more manpower than this city's ever seen. You wanna blow it away? Shit, go ahead. But I do got a fucking code. And I put my goddamn life on the line to share it with you. We come together right here, right now. They're gonna talk about this night. You know, the time that we decided that it's better to work with the ones we hate than live under those that they don't even know our fucking names. I have a dumb question that I'm gonna ask in a minute. I, I want to hear all this, though. I stole Sophia's product. I popped Alberto Falcone. I did it all. So fucking what? I hustle. Do what it takes. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I'm just a poor kid from the east side who's got something to fucking prove. Like all you. Everyone's poisoned. <laughs> That would be fucking crazy. <laughs> Everybody just drops dead. My question is, is the gold summit, is this like the beginning of the crime organization that you see in like Batman or in Dark Knight where all the gang members meet together from the various clans? Take him back, Gotham. Is this Oz forming that right now? That's my question. Because I'm not a comic book expert. I don't know everything. I don't know that much, really. That's what I was thinking of from The Dark Knight, where like, Joker makes his appearance mm -hmm. and does mm -hmm. his magic trick with the pencil. Oh, God. Yeah, makes the pencil disappear. Yeah, because that's all the different... Hey, look at that! Power! Oh, 
<laughs> Oz did it. Leave it on. You gonna dance with Ma? <laughs> His aunts will come in and be like, What are you doing with my mother? I mean, that alone turns Oz into a fucking hero if he, like, takes credit for the power getting turned back on. <laughs> get it, Francis, get it. <laughs> she just needed her music. <laughs> this is a great scene. Oz, got the power back on for you. Uh oh, this camera angle. I know, I don't love this angle. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Sophia. Oh, shit. That's where we're ending? Ha oh, shit. Oh, oh no. What's, what is Sophia going to do to them? Bad things, probably. Bad things. And and how... It's not like you can go to, like, tell them and be like, Oz, we're being held by Sophia right now. Yeah, and I mean that... I don't know what that pipe was in her hand. It looked like... Like a wrench yeah. of some kind. She's going to fucking do something. It looked like, like it had already been used for something. <laughs> like, it, it looked kind of shiny to me. I don't know if, if she had already put it to work somewhere. Oh, God. I don't know, but that episode I felt like is really doing an amazing job of setting up these last two episodes. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried. We got a little bit of a jump. Business is booming for Oz. He had the underground lair going all like he turned two buckets into a shit ton of stuff mm -hmm. and they were doing well until, you know, a couple members died. They got put on display and business got halted and he had to make a move and he brought all the families, all the gang families together to make a deal to work together and just. I'll ask it again just in case you'd missed that part of the video, but is this the group like you see it in Dark Knight, mm -hmm. where they're at the table, all the gang members, everyone who basically all the bad folks of Gotham working together, all the different families. Is that what this is the beginning of? I'm curious. I'd if, be interested to know. Because I don't even know if it was referenced in terms of a name in in that movie, in that trilogy or anything. But calling it the Golden Summit, it's interesting. And the fact that Oz is the one to bring everyone together. And I just worry about personally what happens to him now. Mm-hmm. Because, like, is Vic going to die? Is Francis going to die? What is Sophia going to do in terms of getting information out of them? Or does she, like, just turn around and walk out and, like, save that information for later? I don't know why she would be standing there with a weapon if she was just... Well, she came there with a purpose, but I don't know if she's going to stay for that yeah. purpose. I mean, she gathered some new information. She realized that Oz's mom's not dead. Well, and right she now. believed that, yeah. he wa that she was. Yep. So... The fact that she's sitting there dancing, be like, Oz, my boy, Oz, my boy. It's like, oh, shit, you lied about your mom. And I mean, I don't think Sophia's going to be surprised by that because no. at this point. You have to protect. But Oz hasn't been honest with Sophia about anything. And he's responsible for a lot of her worst moments in her life. So I, I don't think there's a lot of surprise when you find out new information that Oz was holding information from you. So I think Sophia's gonna, I don't know. I, I feel like she could act. And I feel like that moment that we saw with Oz and Francis, like them having that good son mother like relationship, mm -hmm. him doing her makeup and like being that sweet really with her. Sweet, yeah. I feel like that was almost like a foreshadow to her death. I feel like she's not gonna make it much longer. And I thought it was gonna be a situation where Oz was gonna do it himself because of what he promised her in terms of she doesn't want to live a certain way. But I feel like Sophia is going to take that step for her. I don't know if she'll go. I mean, that's that's some really dark, ruthless shit right there. I mean, we've seen it from I Sophia. Mean, she killed her entire family. Yeah. So I don't see. But they see, were all assholes. Right. Like, I mean, Francis 
in her eyes probably isn't innocent because she's Oz's mom, but I mean, she's just an innocent little old lady now. She doesn't really I mean, do anything. Who encourages bad behavior. I mean, yeah, but it's one of those things where I probably be would be a little more nervous for Vic in that spot because he has the information. Right. So, I mean, that's a you want to get like I I see multiple sides of it because you want to get to Oz and impact him as much as you can. And hurting his mother is probably the worst thing you could do to him. Yeah, like, but then in here. You get all that information from Vic. Right. Also. Oh, God. So it's almost like a double whammy for her in yeah, this moment. Yeah, yeah. To where she jackpot. literally hit the jackpot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where Vic has all the info and it's like the most important. You want to talk about the most important person to Oz? It's no one else besides his mother. His mom is number one. And the fact that he's been hiding her and lying about her just goes to show to what level he loves her and is trying to protect her. So it's like Sophia could hit him emotionally here, but then could hurt him up here with the business aspect of everything mm -hmm. that's going on. Yeah. So this show, just the way it's telling its story, the way it's unraveling all this stuff. And I mean, literally talking about what we talked about in the intro about how they've created this storyline with these two villains who I would imagine everyone likes both of them to an extent. I'm sure their side's being picked. Obviously, share who you're rooting for between Sophia and Oz. But it's like, from my point of view, and we both talked about this and we both agree, that we're kind of rooting for both of them yeah. in different aspects, in different ways, just because they're such amazing characters. Their performances are so good. You want to see these type of characters continue through the universe. Although right now, I don't want Sophia to win. I mean, in this spot. I know, no, not right now. Yeah, that's not like this. That's tough. I mean, I thought she was gonna kill Eve for sure, and yeah. then when they actually started having like a genuine conversation about the truth of things, I I, I kind of got the vibe that Sophia was gonna pull out and back out of there and let her live, but I don't know what she's gonna do with Vic or or Francis. Yeah, that's that's tough. This and Vic. I mean, I, I guess we could classify this as his first kill. I mean, he kind of ran a dude over with the car, but this is different. Yeah, this is like, yeah. You no. pulled the trigger to someone that you know, and obviously he didn't like Squid, but there was a personal relationship there, mm -hmm. and he just left the dude there to die. The other moment was very hectic and frantic and like, holy shit, what did we just do? I mean, I would assume that dude died. He got kind of like smashed and pressed up and against two cars. I would imagine yeah. he didn't survive that. Yeah. But I don't think in the heat of the moment, Vic had any idea what was even happening. And he was just reacting. Shooting Squid feels like it impacted him a lot. And That was more premeditated. It kind of, yeah, he had no choice. It was like... I, he didn't really have an option unless you bring him to Oz and Oz does it, but then things become a little too risky because if you show him where things are and he finds a way to get out of there mm -hmm. and the fact that he was threatening to tell people like, oh, Oz, I know where this is, underground, all that. Like it was, Vic had no choice in that spot. And I'm wondering if this, if he survives the situation with Sophia, I'm wondering if this is where his like official downfall like mentally begins in terms yeah. of becoming a villain. Yeah. Because I feel like that's where he's going. He's another character that I I hope we get to see him continue this journey into the Batman. But it's one of those things where I really believe that this is the moment that we could probably come back to when he's like this okay. crime yeah. boss. Yeah. Because I feel like that's, I mean, it feels like that's where Vic's going. As much as he's like a heartwarming, loving, like you love so this awesome. guy despite... <laughs> Despite what his role is in this show doing, he's still doing illegal shit. It's just, you you have a heart for him. You feel for him. And he's just trying to better his situation. The best way that he knows how. And yeah. it's just not a lot of options there. But I think this is going to be the moment, him killing Squid, that takes him down this spiral. Yeah. And if, or, again, if I mean, he survives with Sophia. I was going to say, or, like, he doesn't ever want to do that shit again and, like, turns it around. I don't know. I would imagine that he's going to go villain- status you think you have to in this case I, I i would love to see him there's no there's literally no other options yeah i mean i would love to see him thrive in this universe as someone that we see popping up frequently within the batman world and i mean this i've said this before when like the batman came out the first one i feel like this needs to be 
the Gotham DC Batman universe. Mm -hmm. I know Gunn has his Batman thing going on, but this needs to be the universe. This is the best shit. The characters, the story, the feeling, the vibe, just everything about what they've presented with Gotham from the I Batman agree. in this show. I do love it. The potential is just unlimited with what you can do. It's so much more realistic. Yeah, it's very grounded. Realistic. With grounded, yeah. It, it's part of the reason why I love it so much. And if HBO and Max are on board, it's like you could you could do all kinds of shit. Movies, more shows, more like character driven focused on these villains and these other characters within the world. Because I mean, the Batman universe is massive. And I think it'd be really interesting to see a lot of these villains in the Batman world in this grounded universe of Gotham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, there's so many options. Obviously like the first one that comes to mind that would be probably difficult is like a Mr. Freeze. But I mean, they pulled All the Riddler. villains, yeah. But like they pulled Riddler off who is generally a pretty over the top cartoony style character. And they turned him into what I thought his portrayal in the Batman was amazing. I love that version of the Riddler. So good. And I mean, I'm wondering what the future of like the Joker is in this universe. Obviously, every Batman piece of content has Joker in it. So if, if they don't present him, I mean, they've already presented him. But if they don't include him as a major player, I think that's fine as long as they have other, other plans mm -hmm. in terms of villains. But this universe, this world, there's only two episodes left in this show. I'm going to be so bummed out when it's over. I know. I thought it was 10. It's only eight. And I'm like, oh my God, we're coming to the end. Like that's, that's so wild. And I, I'm going to be very disappointed when it's over because I mean. But you look forward to what's next. Of course. Next. I mean, depending on how it ends, we'll look forward to see what's next. That's also true. But I mean, this show, I mean, it's easily in the conversation. I think it's really only a two show race in terms of what we've watched. This and Shogun in terms of show of the year. And I mean, this show is just so good. It's so interesting. I agree. I mean, awards all around for all the performances. I mean, Sophia, Oz, I mean, they're absolutely crushing it. So yeah, I can't wait to see where they go the next two episodes. I feel like this was a really great setup for mm -hmm. what to, what's to come to end this first season. Absolutely. Any agree. other thoughts? Nope. All right, y'all. You guys leave all your comments. Leave them down below. We'll see you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.